Hello colleagues, um, today I'd like to talk about automated scanning and inspection. As you know, we produce uh, robots, drones, but mostly we focus on a precise and positioning system for the robots and for the drones. Uh, but our robots are small and medium sized robots for delivery of goods from point A to point B. But we very quickly realized that people are actually using the robots not for delivery, but mostly for inspection. So they take off shelves and uh, they install some sort of equipment. Sensing equipment, scanning equipment. And uh, we said, okay, if people are using our delivery robots for uh, not boxes delivering, but for delivering or inspection, uh, of warehouses or assembly plants, why, why not to use it? At the same time, um, many of our customers are using our indoor positioning system for, uh, for drones. Drones flying inside the warehouse and uh, scanning the barcodes, QR codes in order to identify the lost pallets. That has been for years already and of course uh, it's uh, they, they are lovely, lovely customers by ours. But when we think about the, something practical and realistic, to fly drones indoor is a complex task. To fly drones autonomously indoor is a very complex task. To fly drones routinely to perform something you know, practical, like scanning barcodes, is a very difficult task. Because a drone will look something like this. So you will have a, a lot of things, a lot of wires, and it could be several kilos. And as you see, it can be simply fragile. So their uh, cost of error with drones is simply high. So a small mistake either by the operator or by the system or by the positioning system or by the drone or by power supply will cost dearly. And as a result, you know, uh, lost drones, some danger, many bad things happen. So uh, we love drones. Again, we do love drones and we do supply drones and we, no, I, okay, we do supply their indoor position for other people's drones. And sooner or later we will supply our own drones because people are coming to us and saying, oh, where's your drone? Uh, it will be, it's coming. But if you want something practical today for a very pragmatic operation to scan barcodes, to, uh, to connect it to your warehouse management system or to your ERP resource uh, system, then the simple solution could exist. And the simple solution is basically uh, a robotic solution and there are quite a few on the market, but we differ slightly from what is offered. So uh, our solution is even more to the ground, even more pragmatic. So we take our existing robot, it's either robot boxy small one or robot V100, and we install a mast. It can be a mechanical mast or a electrical mast, depending on the customer. And why I'm asking so, because we have a few ongoing cases where exactly this configuration uh, is more appealing because these customers played with the drones already. They played so re on real warehouses with the real end customers uh, because those uh, our customers are typically not the end customers but the robotics company or drone company or integrators. They played with the drones with the mixed result about the drones because they're costly. Uh, and again, you know, crashes are expensive and mistakes are expensive and it doesn't look extremely reliable. So people who are the end customers, warehouses basically, or they want something very, very, very practical and very pragmatic. And this is our solution, what is very practical and pragmatic. So we take our existing robot V100. So this is the base of the robot V100, which you can see you know, driving around, so this is V100. It has a base around 70 by 70 centimeters and is about two meters high. Uh, we remove everything. We install, instead of shells, we install uh, a mast. Once again, depending on the customer, it's either a mechanical mast, which is less expensive, but then it always stays there, or electrical mast, 
and then uh, when the robot is driving it has cameras and these cameras are placed on each level of the shells so it means that the, when the robot is moving it's scanning both directions at the same time so the robot is moving slowly because again it's a pretty tall thing up to 12 meters high hmm, my phone a uh, pretty tall thing um, but it does things in parallel and this is exactly our uh, benefit because we use existing indoor positioning system which we have been using for years and our customers have been using for years so these are the beacons so th these small things is our indoor positioning system so th this is the beacon which is can be station can be mobile does matter so it's universal it's super beacon and uh, then the mast again pretty proven mast installed we power everything from our existing robot there's additional batteries up to you it can be eight hours shift it can be 16 hours shift it can be even more if you really need more uh, it, it's not a big deal and then of course we slightly increase the base so if, for example if you have an ale of three meters then we increase up to two to 0.5 meters so there is some margin on the left and right to be uh, on the safe side <coughs> but at the same time it's pretty stable safe and autonomous solution of course it has all their uh, typical uh, uh, robotic elements like lighters for obstacle detection and avoidance it of course can drive autonomously but it's not only delivering something it is scanning so uh, we are not shown sure here uh, but each layer has a separate computer with a separate uh, uh, barcode and QR code recognition so it means that you can tune for your particular uh, need and task and it's not only the camera okay it's just simplified to make it very 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 easy to understand but the cameras are equipped with the computers each camera has its own uh, barcode and QR code recognition and its own uh, lighting because lighting is very very important so it means that we do not rely on your warehouse lighting we use our own lighting and everything is integrated into a single solution that does a very 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 simple task it drives autonomously scans sends the data where it found what the scan and then it sends data with the location data because it's using location data for driving and then your system is comparing what is scanned with what is supposed to be and flags typically we do not do integration it's either our integrator partner do the integration with your warehouse warehouse management system or your own IT people are doing this but our message is very very simple if you want a, something very 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 practical and pragmatic like scanning barcodes and finding your lost pallets or finding uh, what, what, what is lost in your warehouse this is a very 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 pragmatic solution that can be implemented today and is being implemented with a couple of customers as we speak so if you are interested send us a mail as typically to info at marlmine.com and we will be happy to answer to all your questions this thing is customizable as all our robots but we do have something already which is being delivered to other people and you may be interested as well thank you very much